All right, uh, for those that may have <clears throat> purchased Keyscape, uh, Spectrosonics Keyscape like I did uh, without reading the fine print or may, maybe not knowing that uh, your version of Pro 2 uh, 10, 3 and below is not 64 bit uh, like this particular application requires. There are several workarounds. Uh, one would be to do a rewire uh, one would be to do some kind of sync uh, using uh, your doll's built-in sync. But for me, that's too cumbersome. Uh, I did buy it so I can still do MIDI, but unfortunately, until I upgrade to Pro Tools 12, that's not going to work for me. So my workaround is this. Um, I do have Logic, which is 64-bit. And the way I'm doing it, I have more than one interface. I have the um, Avid, well, Access to Digi uh, 192 interface for my Pro Tools rig. And I'm using a Personas uh, Fire Studio, I think is what it's called, uh, for my um, Logic rig. And, and, it, and this just really worked out the best because I didn't want to have to use two computers uh, in order to get the sounds from Keyscape over to Pro Tools. So what I'm doing essentially uh, if you go here you'll see and I'm not gonna make this long but you'll see here I'm using the, the Personas Fire Studio to route audio from Logic and I do have a console so I'm running the stereo out of the Personas into the uh, my console and then I'm routing out of my console into Pro Tools and you see I'm using the standard um, TDM, which is the 192 hardware for playback. So, uh, that's how I'm getting it to work. Uh, of course, no MIDI functions. Uh, they say you can use the bus uh, IO. I haven't figured that out yet to be, able to, be record, to, to be able to record audio and video. I mean, audio and MIDI. And I have not yet gotten it to work, but... But for me, this works just fine since I'm kind of using it as a module instead of, uh, instead of um, um, what I do with it. Um, so I, I, I could miss, <laughs> I didn't complete that sentence, but all my sounds still show up. Here they go, you know. So I'm using, actually, essentially, I'm using uh, one side of my computer through Logic as the interface and as a virtual uh keyboard module um, and this is the way I'm getting it to work because otherwise it would have been a waste of $400 and I am not into wasting money so I knew I could figure out a way to make it work until I take the leap and to jump into Pros 2 12 and for me it's a very expensive uh, jump because I just got into this system and have to buy the HD version of um, Pro Tools 12 is not favorable right now for me, so this is my workaround. Hope it helps. All right, later.